Describe the composition of petroleum. Petroleum consists of crude oil and natural gas. It is a mixture of up to 300 different hydrocarbons as well as sulphur and nitrogen compounds. And in these 300 hydrocarbons, it also contains what we call cycloalkanes, which are alkanes, instead of being in a line like this, they're actually in rings, like this one here, which is a basic diagram for cyclohexane, with its hydrogens, of course. Now, crude oil, to start with, as I said, there's two parts to this. There's crude oil and natural gas. Thinking about crude oil, the majority of crude oil is made up of alkanes and alkenes from C1 to C25. And if you remember, alkanes have only single bonds, alkenes have at least one double bond, and C1 to C25 denotes that there's either one carbon all the way up to 25 carbons. Now, natural gas on the other hand, the majority of natural gas is made up of methane gas, which is between 75 and 90 percent, and methane is CH4, also contains some ethane, 5 to 10 percent, which is C2H6, and a little bit of propane and butane, 3 to 6 percent, which is C3 and C4. There's also smaller amounts of other alkanes, and depending on where the natural gas is mined, it may contain nitrogen, water vapour, carbon dioxide, and traces of hydrogen sulphide. Now, the chemical formula for hydrogen sulphide is H2S, and H2S is that rotten egg gas smell that I'm sure you've all smelled in class before, and it's really, really horrible, so that's not nice stuff. So that's your composition of petroleum. So just remember you've got crude oil, which is the majority of alkanes and alkenes from C1 to C C25, excuse me. And on the other hand, we have natural gas, which the majority is methane and ethane.